10 seconds is usually sufficient to end the uh, bobbing around in the beginning. <laughs> and so I can edit out the, my hand as I reach to uh, turn the uh, camera off. Anyways, it is uh, just around 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Wednesday, August 26th. Let me just make sure... I just checked and this now gone from my mind again. Yeah, it's August 26th, Wednesday. Oh, uh, it does look like a processing error has occurred in uh, uh, the vlog editing. And it's not too bad of a thing. It's just it's gonna take me a couple extra hours to fix, which will delay the upload of uh, the vlog I was gonna put up today. It will delay it slightly. Uh, but not too bad. It's something that's repairable. And I think this is the thing: is that that you have to do the filming, you have to do the editing, and then once you have the once you do the editing, uh, you have to uh, make sure that things up upload properly. There's the sort of that 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 side of the editing of of publishing it to the internet, how you publish it, the format you publish it in, um, uh, the different avenues you can take, the different social media that 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 are that is around. Uh, these different things all come into play, and of course, once you have the, the work done, there's also the storage on uh, uh, a sort of off-site media where, 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 let's say, you have, I don't know, 20, 30 vlogs clogging up a hard drive. Uh, you know, the, the question is, uh, uh, what to do with it next? And so this is sort of the remaining question uh, that... Uh, needs to be answered and so I'm still here at the, the, the uh, editing desk uh, the research desk I'm doing watching some cartoons I'm gonna go back to the meditation that I was doing before I couldn't do the meditation before because the hard drive was busy doing the hard drive on my computer was doing, busy doing something uh, some uh, some file transfer work basically your library work and uh, it couldn't access the uh, the sound files I needed for meditation so for the, there's basically the prayer meditation so anyways uh, we are starting again now it's one o'clock in the afternoon when we do do a 24-hour day we'll see how we end things we end, end things it, when we end it really depends on uh, what goes on during the day and Sometimes it's shorter and sometimes it's longer, so we, we don't actually, f we do end up filming the whole 24 hours. It's just uh, not in the manner, not, uh, it's not in a consistent manner. There is no regularity to when I film, when I start filming, when I stop filming. It really, a lot of it depends on the amount of work that has to be done, how I'm feeling in order to get the work done. And how I'm feeling by the time I end the work that I need to get done. And that kind of sets the tone for everything. Anyways, it's Wednesday. And it's time to get back to my meditation. I've done that. I've got to do, still do some uh, editing work. And then we'll go from there. Alright, we'll see you in the next segment. Probably outside. We'll see if, 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 if given the time, it could be a, it could it could be twelve hours from now. So well, last night was pretty cool. I had it by but by the time it was two o'clock in the morning, it was too cold to sit outside, and so I had to come in. So <laughs> I had to come in. Anyway, see you then. I made a mistake and started talking too early. And then again, I'm heavily fatigued, so that's uh, one way of sort of looking at it. It is about 1.30 in the morning, and I think it should be... Uh, check the time and date. Yeah, August 27th. Didn't guess that. Wednesday started off half decent, uh, even though we started later on. We started at one o'clock, uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, 
it was going pretty well. I did my shopping. I did a, a number of different things. Uh, my gaming, my, my meditation. Cooked, uh, worked on the kitchen. But now, I don't know, it, it happened probably around 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I was feeling really groggy, so I went just to lie down just for a little bit, just to give myself a break. And when I got up, it was close to 8.30. I expected to wake up in a little bit, but I haven't woken up yet. I'm still, still very groggy. Uh, the sleep hasn't left. And so I said, well, okay, let's try out the... Uh, Let's try out Yowie Vlog. So that's what I did. I started, started my YouTube stroll. Started off with my usual point of Yowie Vlogs. Interesting vlog. Uh, in terms of that the, they uh, were in a number of different places. They have they ha they have a number of places they go to. So it's never just one place. It's a variety of places. And they show sort of the adventures between the two. The various places that they go to. And apparently, uh, Allie, who's got a brand new car just a week, less than a week old, ran over a, a tire tread. So, you know, a lot of times, you don't anticipate something that you run over is, is going to... One, you don't intend to run it over. Uh, and you don't intend that it's going to, to uh, really wreck, damage your car. But it, it did damage her new, brand new car. Uh, that she had gone, <clears throat> so it's going to need some body work. But the question is whether she leaves it or, or she brings it in for repairs. I mean, th things always happen. That th th there are things that 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 go well in your life and things that don't go well in your life, and it, it's kind of a mixed bag of things. And this is uh, as I went to Allie's channel. She's now trying to sort of stand on her own and see that her. Her beginning existence is very shaky. You try to have a positive life sometimes. But <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> every time there is something positive to think about, there's always the off in the negative or something pulling you back or holding you back from feeling the positivity. Oh, it's her. Around what's around you at some point in time is just a matter of well, you know it's it's I don't know it's kind of like watching the rain. I'm a person who likes watching the rain, and sometimes you're just sort of sitting there in your chair, you're not really thinking of anything, you're just sort of mulling things over in your mind or daydreaming or whatever, and you're just listening to the to the rain at a certain point in time of wetness. You hear the uh, the edges of the walls start to drip. Here, blip, blip, blip. and you're in a space that's neither positive nor negative. It's just that blip, 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 and this is kind of the way I'm feeling right now. I'm just kind of, I, I, I feel like I'm still, I feel like I'm still sleeping. My mind isn't that. My, my mind isn't fully present here. And so a large chunk of this reflects in the moods in terms of what I see and how I experience the vlogs. And so from there, I, I, I went from Yali Vlogs, I went to Allie's new, chan new channel called Allie LaRose. She's beginning her channel now. She's beginning to sort of uh, come out a little bit more. And she's uh, uh, vlog vlogging once a week. And she's doing this sort of 10 dates and 10 whatever it is. So it's her 10 first dates. And then I end up, uh, I ended up at uh, it's our life. That's my next stop. Was our it's our life, and they had a, they had a another vlog up. They had gone to uh, Jupiter, Florida. Well, not the planet, but the the city in Florida. And that they like swimming there. There's a, there's a, a, a sort of a, a place, an inlet where the the sea comes in. 
and in high tide that like swimming there because it's very clear and there's not they like, swim with the fishes if you will <laughs> it's a it's a mafia thing all movie mafia thing <laughs> Mimo he sleeps with the fishes so and it's again interesting vlog they've changed up how they do their vlogging uh, I had made a comment a while ago on um, Capri's vlog where she was wasn't narrating everything she allowed the, the, the video in certain places to really sort of narrate itself and I noticed that some of the elements that, that Capri had filmed earlier uh, in terms of the style is now in their vlog and so you can see the, the evolution of the vlog as well and how they try different things and you know they, they, they change up what they do and it's a nice thing so uh, anyways I'm going back to bed because I can't wake up and we'll see what happens around five o'clock in the morning five o'clock in the morning and see where we go from there all right so I'll see you then Everyone when, when they come on lot when they come on to the camera yeah, is concerned about their hair and how their hair looks. Oh, well, we're twenty four seven. Uh, I don't have the time to sort of worry about that. Mine is always a sort of uh, messy, long haired look. But then again, you know, I look like your hair fits my ugh, style. <laughs> the grungy old man look. Uh, it is uh, 12.30, and it is, uh, time and date stamp, right? Yeah, it's August 27th, uh, just around 12.30 in the afternoon. Uh, I looked at my, um, my observatory, and I see that, uh, Hurricane Laura is now down to a tropical storm category. It went it went down pretty quickly. It, it this is a non-event, and actually, uh, uh, here in Toronto, we're getting some of the leading edges of uh, uh, tropical storm Laura. Uh, as a sort of what happens is that hurricanes are a tight ball of pressure. They're very 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 tight, and so what happens is that when and it's, it's because the environment around it keeps it contained. So inside a container, the pressure is going to maintain and then even build because it's being heated by the sun and so on and so on. And that's what you see. During the day, as the, as, the, as the day temperatures rise, the pressure in the storm rises itself. And at night, it falls. So you see you have a pulsating uh, container. Uh, when the container is released... And there, that's because the surrounding environment releases the, its heat. It's it actually creates a corridor through which now the gas is. is like, imagine the container opening at one point and all the gas pouring out, and you see this cloud of gas coming out as it went from high pressure to low pressure. Well, that's exactly what you see here. And then this this is the thing about about about, about uh, learning observation is you have to match match some we call known textbook physics up with what you're seeing in the observation. If you can do that and then then verify that, then you've now got a mechanism, uh, uh, a known physical mechanism for something you don't necessarily think was uh, was there to begin with. Now, I remember from our textbooks that we were always told that hurricanes that are hit us come from, from uh, the northern tip of Africa. Well, that's not necessarily the case in this point here because of the, the, the 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 northwestern tip of Africa is blocked by a massive block of heat, and the, the, these storms do not penetrate the, the block of heat. And what I see, it, and when it does come in, it doesn't come in up high. It comes in down low over South America, builds, and then comes up on the sort of the, it's coming up on the Pacific side so right imagine Mexico that, that strip of land between uh, in, in, what they call middle America or uh, Mesoamerica 
Right? There's North America, there's South America, and in between there's that strip of land, that's where Panama is. It's Mesoamerica. And actually, in Greek it's, it's properly pronounced as Mesoamerica. The Meso is, is medium or half, so that's half America, so it's uh, and they're in the middle of America, so it's Mesoamerica. And what you see is that you see all the storm activity there, and it comes up into the Gulf of Mexico, and that's how these storms are produced. It's not coming in from the uh, from the east coast at all. It's coming in from the west coast, uh, right skirting along the edge of uh, the uh, uh, the western edge of uh, Mesoamerica or Mesoamerica. And this is, this is, this is a, an, interest, an interesting uh, find here, and it was an interesting observation. But the thing is, because I have to watch this over several years, because one hurricane cycle is just one, it changes year to year. So you want to see how is it doing this year as compared to last year. What's it doing, you know, what's it going to do next year? And as you track this, I mean, you get a record, and you need about five years worth of record, or five, five uh, incidences, you know, five cycles. Uh, that's a f that's a five year process of observation, and so a large chunk of scientists have moved off of uh, off of uh, uh, observation into data modeling. They think the data modeling is good, enough, but data modeling has a problem. It creates hallucinations, things that aren't real. You think it's real because oh look we've got the data, but the thing is, how did you get that data? How you get the data really determines what the data really means. But they're not, they're just sort of toss that out and say, well, here's the data. Model it. And that's incorrect. And I think it's because we're ending the video now. This is the whole thing is we're ending the video for the day, for, for, uh, for uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So we're ending the 26th video, the 26th uh, of August video. Uh, I never end, did end up going back to my YouTube stroll. That happens sometimes. Uh, it just, I, I did, was feeling knocked out. I did another meditation. There's two types of, types of meditation. Uh, there's actually more, but uh, I'm doing two. Uh, one is a prayer meditation. Then yesterday I did a fasting meditation. Uh, and that left me kind of knocked out. And so... <laughs> It stretched the day out, and, and we're, so we're now ending the video uh, at 12.30 in the afternoon, and we'll probably start again about uh, at the 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 1.30. Uh, I'm waiting for a delivery to come in from T&T, &T, my groceries. I don't have to go anywhere to do, to do a delivery anymore. It's, uh, it, it's all done online now, so yay me. Uh, I don't have to go anywhere for anything, and I got all the different things I want. And my stuff is kind of unusual because... I do live a Pan-Asian lifestyle. I am Pan-Asian. I live a Pan-Asian lifestyle. And the foods are kind of what we'll call specialty foods if you go into a regular supermarket. But in, if you have an Asian supermarket, it's not specialty. It's uh, normal. <laughs> and I think it, 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 this is sort of the thing is that anything you do new always is problematic because there's always the first learning steps which are kind of shaky. And that can get you into a mood where you're saying, well, am I really worth it or not? You know, this is, this is, this is, you know, isn't good. And, but if you stick with it and just move forward. And the thing is, is that we are told in, by Christ himself. And these are people, this whole, are you worth it? Are people, are coming from people who have studied the Bible. This, oh, they, they do, they do scripture studies every single day. And yet they miss the point that, uh. The whole gospel is about humility and it, about being humble, not whether you're worth it or not. It's about being humble, and that we come up from a point of weakness, that we overcome our struggles. But this is what you see. What you're seeing all the all these riots about today. What? Someone trampled on. I'm right. I'm being oppressed. Why? Because you didn't give me what I wanted. I want something. You have to give it to me. It's my right to have it. And if you don't give it to me, what I want. I'm going to burn your place down. And that's what it is. And the thing is, the governments work off of this stuff. This is how they keep uh, people in line. The police are not there to protect people. They're not there to uh, 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 um, keep people's rights. They're there to enforce the law created by politicians. And that's what they do. 
They do their job. They don't think about what they're doing. They do their job. And this is why people end up getting shot by police because they're not trained to handle conflict. They're there to put their foot down. They're there to oppress the conflict, to suppress it. That's the, they're conflict suppressors. That's what, they're, that's what they're designed to do. This is done by Republicans, and it's also done by the Democrats. The Democrats have known this since 1970 that this was going on. They've never corrected it because they don't want to correct it. They want political enforcers. The police are the, the enforcers of the politicians. People have to realize this. And so it's not about your rights. It's about it, it, every right that you have, all your, you should say your freedoms, they're all about struggle. It's about overcoming the oppression that's in front of you on a daily basis. But the young people today, because of the way they're taught in schools, don't see that anymore. And so they have what you see going on in the streets. And they're going to, in the end, they're going to lose because they're not rich. They're not rich. They're not wealthy. And they're going to end up destroying their own neighborhoods. The businesses are going to leave. That's what's already starting to happen. And they're not going to have any jobs. As my say, as my perspective goes, it doesn't matter whether I'm worth it or not. No refunds. I'm going forward with what I need to do.